Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be putting you through on how I cut this double peplum standing gown. So stay tuned. I wouldn't call it the 1440 flay stand because all I could get is six flays. Not folded up to 90 degrees, rather I think I'm having about 45 degrees here. I'm using the circumference of about 28 inches, which is her waist circumference. Dividing it by 6, I'm getting 5, so therefore I'm using 2.5. Her full length is uh, 35 for the flay, and then the fabric length is 36. So I'm using that 36. From the waist circumference, I already measured that. I'll be using it to map round the brim of the fabric as you're seeing it and afterwards i cut it out so after cutting this out i'll be placing it on other fabrics to get up to six of it So this is one part of it. So I'm also cutting out the upper portion, which is my joining point. So here I'm folding this fabric in a 45 degree manner too. And then I'm also mapping out the same 5 inch I use for the other bigger part and then I'm measuring a length of about 16 inches sorry guys I am managing ma the material because I'm using a total of six years for this project after cutting this out too, I'll also be placing it on the fabrics to cut about six of them. Here we are, six of them ready. So we are ready to iron the peplum stand. This is for the shorter part. I have the six of the shorter parts here and I'll be removing one inch from each of them because when sewing it, I will be folding it both sides on a pleated manner. I am doing this to avoid shortage when I will fold it while sewing it. So guys, this is how I will fold it as I sew it in to enable it stand or rather puff out well. This is the longer one. I equally have six pieces of them. So guys, I've gone ahead to cut out my peplum stay for each of them. So I have a total of 12 peplum stay. And I will be ironing them to all the fabrics. Now I am done ironing and sewing in my lining. Next is to notch the circumference edges for smooth lapping after turning them inside out. I will notch it till the end of the circumference. Please be careful not to tear it. Now I am done turning the fabrics inside out. Now, but I'm making sure that the edges are well out. So I'm using something to bring out the edges so that it will be smooth.
I will also go ahead to bend the circumference area so that the, the lining will not really be that much visible. And I will be using the hot iron to press it down. So I also bent the edges so that it will enable me to sew it in smoothly as I sew. After this, I'll be using the hot iron on it to make it smooth and to make it stay. For my returning subscribers, thank you. And for those of you who have not yet subscribed, Please click on that subscription button and also the notification button. We have lots and lots to show you. So guys, this is how I want it on the longer flay. This is a shorter flay. I will be making it appear like this on top of the longer flay. So I went ahead to map out the places I will sew them in on the longer flay. As you're seeing it and then I'll be sewing it against the other side of the flay I'll be sewing it against the other side the second flay just watch as I demonstrate I'll sew it on this end and the other end of the short flay will be sewn to the other beginning of the long flay and at the end of the day I will join all the long flays together from this midpoint of the short flay. I'll join them together and that is it. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Watch out for my next video. Bye.